Hey, it's your professional sarcastic man and seeker of attention, Oz Chris, here with reviews on Man Without Fear, sorry, <clears throat> Man Without Fear, number five, and Marvel Knights 20th, number six. So starting off, which was the obvious superior comic of the two, Man Without Fear, number five. <laughs> of course it's going to be. Um, so... The finale to Man Without Fear, written by Jed McKay, art by uh, Danilo S. Bayruth, and coloring by N. Andreas Moser. So, Man Without Fear. Matt has decided to actually properly go back through uh, rehabilitation, despite being haunted by uh, evil original Daredevil suit, uh, which is a manifestation of his fear. It's... He refers to it as th uh, the fear. Very fitting as it was the first suit that he wore as Daredevil uh, for most parts. I know there's some, sometimes it's slightly changed in origins, but from when he, when Daredevil first started as a comic, uh, his first suit, the yellow, the yellow and red suit. So fitting that that first suit uh, is being worn to represent his fear. His, the first time he was the man without fear and it now represents his own fear, and he is fighting through it, so he's going through, he's, he's reliving, like, uh, most important parts of, kind of, his memories from his dad, tell, like, saying, um, it hurts dad, uh, what is painful, Matt, you keep asking that, what does that mean, how should I know, you know, I'm not a smart guy, Matt. I get hit in the head for a living. That's not something smart guys do. You're going to be a smart guy. No, you are a smart guy, and I'm proud of you. Use those smarts to get out of the kitchen. Have a life that's happy and safe, and I don't know, kind. I never wanted to teach you the only thing I have to teach. I always hoped that you wouldn't need it, but you've been marked for a hard life, son. You're going to be scared. You're going to be hurt. I'm going to tell you that you need to know. Uh, fear's always going to be there. You can't get rid of it. You can't control it. You think when I get in the ring with some 300 pound warthog, I don't get scared? We handle fear. We do our job. And uh, we do what has to be done. So, going through all of this, uh, despite the hard times, wanting to give up being Daredevil because he's now afraid. He, Matt's remembering, he's relearning that... Fear is just a constant thing. Everyone's going to be afraid. You can't, as his dad said, you can't get rid of it and you can't uh, can't control it. It's always going to be there, but you need to uh, learn to fight it. Uh, as he says, um, and also same with pain, which uh, kind of the flesh looking daredevil also represented from like the first issue. And um, you know, I'm not, you know, pain keeps us going. I'm not afraid to get hurt. I couldn't fight if I was. Once you get over being scared of pain, that's when you can use it. You can take all that hurt and you make it your fuel. You let it drive you. Pain's nothing to be afraid of so long as you know how to make it work for you. Uh, you know, what is pain for? It keeps us going. And building it all up, you know, as it says... After that, it gets easier, but it's never easy. The pain is always there, pushing me forward. The fear is always there, whispering doubt into my ears. My dad was wrong, though. Fear is of use. Fear is what made Wilson, Wilson Fist, the kingpin, the most powerful man in New York City, run away from a blind, bedridden lawyer. That was when I knew I could do it. That was when I knew how I was. Not the man who drives his friend away. Not the man who pushed away the woman who came back for him. Not the man without fear, not anymore. I'm the man who makes people like Wilson, Wilson Fisk afraid. <laughs> and I like, the, you know, the whole, you know, famous painting of Jesus with his uh, disciples. <laughs> I find it funny, they're just like, let's just do a villain version of it. We're just, you know, Fisk is the Jesus in this situation. But, um, you know, all of them in uh, implacable, unfeeling, grinding people down, crushing the life out of them, their machines... They're the trucks. I can handle that. It's nothing new. I've been saving people from trucks my whole life. And his fear tries to uh, put more doubt in him to stop trying to be daredevil. You know, as uh, Matt lies, I know, but I'm not afraid of that anymore. You're lying if you weren't. I wouldn't be here. 
so I'm lying. You can't beat me, you can't ignore me. Not anymore, I know that. I can't kill you or beat you down, you're a part of me. Now, I'll carry you wherever I can go, whatever I do, but that doesn't mean I'm letting you call the shots. He's not gonna let fear run his life, as in, he'll, he'll fight everything that uh, tries to control him. His fear as well, and that, uh, that is it. That is it for Man Without Fear. Very good, a very, very good miniseries. Wish it was a uh, an actual, just a Daredevil story that led into Zadarsky's run. You know, it's Marvel, they always have to relaunch, but, you know, imagine if they didn't, uh, this would have just been a, a, a story to bridge the gap between Charles Soule and Zadarsky's run. Uh, it still had the same numbering. Daredevil's what was one of the few series that still kept that whole legacy numbering, and now it's not anymore. Great. <laughs> Uh, but no, this was a good issue, and, uh, it's slightly, uh, it's slightly, uh, how would I say it? Do, 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 do. It's slightly, uh, doesn't outright fix the problems that Matt has. Uh, he's now going to be Daredevil again, as we know from promos and for the new series and all that, uh, but he's, he's not going to be a, the man with it. Not really going to be a man without fear. Uh, fear is still now a constant part of his life. And he's now working to fight against it. Which is what Zadarsky's first story will deal with. It will deal with uh, Matt actually putting that into practice. Uh, so far it's just been all words. You've seen the progress of him uh, deciding I'm not Daredevil anymore. I'm afraid the fear has gotten to me. But now he's learning. Now he's remembering. Uh... You, you can't control or get rid of fear, but you can't let fear control you as well. And now now that he's remembered that, uh, he's now going to try and put that into practice as well with uh, in Daredevil. Then Man Without Fear has shown that very well. You know, on, honestly, if uh, Zadowski wasn't going to be the main writer, uh, Jed McKay. Jed McKay could have uh, taken over Daredevil. I'd be happy with that. He did. Jed has done a very good job with this Man Without Fear miniseries. Another good, good issue and a good finale. So on to Marvel Knights 20th. The, uh, <laughs> the story that doesn't need to exist. Oh boy, so we reached the end uh, after some, you know, after knocking out Hulk and uh, T'Challa fighting a uh, Frank Castle, uh, he decides to stop and they, uh, they, uh, decide to properly face off against who they believe is responsible for this, Kingpin and the rest of the, uh, villains, and it's, do it's done very quickly, this whole fight, uh, between the, the Knights, the Marvel Knights, against, um, Kingpin and the rest of the villains, um, and with one shot, uh, Daredevil is able to take out King, Kingpin, sure, sure, okay, yeah, like, <laughs> on, uh, like, the thing is, like, not everyone is back to normal, so I don't know if that also means, like, uh, any powers or anything that makes them stronger or anything, but, Daredevil KOing Kingpin and one punching him. Eh. <laughs> but uh they head off to find what is the cause of this? Uh I suppose a dragon, a golden dragon, as they say, and it, it's Sentry. Sentry is the one guarding the machine that has erased everyone's memories of everything. You know, after appearing in almost every variant, uh Sentry is finally in this freaking book. <laughs> in the last issue. And uh, he reveals to them that uh, all five of them, Daredevil, Elektra, Frank, Black Panther, and the Hulk, all created this, uh, this world where everyone's forgotten everything because they saw a possible future that was destroyed. Okay, I gotta... Honestly... Really? 
that's that that's that that's why like uh you know a future that's destroyed maybe by them uh, a possible future and they decide I pretty much against everyone's uh ev against everyone's will even if it's for the greater greater good against everyone's will to just get everyone to forget who they are remove their power some of their powers etc <laughs> just because uh, oh no we can't prevent a possible future and yada 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 uh Matt is able to turn uh turn off the machine and everything's back to normal and that was the end of Marvel Knights 20. This was so pointless. This was, this honestly did not need to be written. Uh, considering the fact that uh, only four issues actually had something to do with the story, this included. So a third of the a third of this uh, book was filler, and. Uh, it, it was just a, it, a simple end. It honestly was a simple end to a story that really didn't need to exist. Cover, it, not a bad looking cover. Uh, art wasn't that bad for the most part. It was okay. Uh, like I said, for the most part. But uh, on, this was just, it was pointless. This is a pointless story. If I, honest, and was, this was only done by Kate's. Honestly, if I hadn't hadn't read Thanos or Cosmic Ghost Rider or Venom or Guardians of the Galaxy, I would have assumed that Cates is a terrible writer because although he wasn't the only one on this, it was also a collaborative collaborative effort with other writers as well, like Rosenberg, uh, a um, Vita Ayola, I think it was as well, etc., uh, etc. Et so Cates isn't the only one to blame on this, but Still, this is just, this was, a. Uh, this was really pointless. <laughs> this is a, this was a really pointless, uh, series. It did not need to be six issues, did not need to exist at all. And I'm glad I'm done with it. I don't have to read Marvel Knights anymore. God, it was just, it would kind of, it started off strong with the first two issues. Then three and four hit you with filler. Before going back, before going back and remembering, hey, we actually have a story. Remember, with five and six, you know, actually including Sentry into this, <laughs> after appearing on just almost all variant covers, it's like, is Sentry really going to be in this? Is he really? <laughs> and it finally did at the end. It just turned out he was just a, he was an overglorified guard dog, pretty much. A very the most powerful person in existence, guard dog. <laughs> so that's it for these two. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time. <laughs>